Tilton, the secret of Cacklefur Castle. Dear mouse friends, welcome to the world of Geronimus Tilton. The Rodin's Gazette Editorial Staff. Geronimus Tilton, a learned and brainy mouse, editor of the Rodin's Gazette. Thea Tilton, Geronimus Tilton, and special correspondent at the Rodin's Gazette. Trap Tilton, an awful joker. Geronimo's cousin and the owner of the store Cheap Junk for Less. Benjamin Stilton, a sweet lo and loving nine-year-old mouse. Geronimo's favorite nephew. Geronimo Stilton, the secret of Cackle for Castle. Scholastic Inc. New York, Toronto, London, Auckland, Sydney, Mexico City, New Delhi, Hong Kong, Buenos Aires. On a cheesy autumn afternoon. Let me introduce myself. My name is Tilton. Join most Tilton. I run the Redden's Gazette, the most famous newspaper on Mars Island. My office is in 17 Swiss Cheese Center. That is where I was when this terrifying tale began. It was a beautiful autumn afternoon at the end of October. What a lovely, peaceful day. I said al out loud. I spoke too soon. All of a sudden, the wall started to shake. Vroom! A loud roaring sound filled my office. My desk began to tremble. The pencil cup that my aunt sweet forgave me for my birthday tumbled on the floor. Holy cheese! I cried. Vroom! The roaring got louder. Then a mouse on a motorcycle drove through my door. It was my sister Thea, of course. Thea, I squeaked. How many times do I have to tell you not to ride your motorcycle into my office? I'm worried about you, Geronimo, Thea said. You have not written a new book in a long time. What's wrong? Tia is a special correspondent for the Rodin's Gazette. Still, I did not appreciate her sticking her snout into my business. I pointed to the piles of papers on my desk. I am too busy to write, I said. There is a lot of work to do around here. Tia frowned. This is not like you, Geronimo. You always had time to write before. She scolded. Then she peeled out of the office, her tires squealing. I sighed and sat down at my desk. What could I do? I had to do my paperwork. My tail had just hit the chair when the door flew open a second time. This time, my cousin Trap burst in. He had a triple decker cheese sand in one paw. Geronimo, you have become lazier than a mouse with an automatic cheese slicer. You must write something new, he yelled. I need to be inspired before I can write, I huffed. I can't just pluck an idea out of my whiskers. The door flew open a third time. Pinky picked. My very young assistant, editor, bonded. In. Hey, boss, she said cheerfully. I'm organizing a party for you, your next book. It's going to be fab, mouse. My tail twitched. I was starting to get annoyed. But I haven't even written it yet, I squeaked. The door flew open a fourth time. It was my favorite nephew Benjamin on his way home from school. Hello, uncle, he said. My friends are all asking when your next book is coming out. I felt embarrassed. I hated to disappoint Benjamin. 
He gazed up at me with his sweet round eyes. It will be out soon, Benjamin, I said. I promise. Trap, Pinky and Benjamin left me to my work. I finished the stack of papers on my desk. But I could not stop thinking about what everyone had said. What would be my next book be about? The beautiful autumn afternoon turned into a beautiful crisp evening. I looked outside my window and gazed out over New Mass City. A cold wind blew up and lifted the cherry colored leaf off the ground. I watched them float and swirl in the night air. I needed an idea. But I didn't have any. I had to think. I sat on my desk. A few hours later, I was still thinking. I had no ideas. Nothing. My mind was as dry as a stale slice of cheese. Feeling helpless, I started to sob. It is no use, I moaned. My writing days are over. A mysterious phone call. The phone rang, drowning out my sobs. Ring, ring, ring. I wiped the tears off my whiskers. Then I picked up the phone. Hello, I said sadly. Stilton speaking. Johnny Stilton. Is that you? My little cheese nip. A sickly sweet voice asked. My fur stood on end. I know that voice. It was Crepella von Crackelfur. I, I first met Crepella last October. She is not like other mice. She has shiny gray fur. Her eyes are as green as poison snakes. She wears a long purple gown and matching purple paw nail polish. Crepella's father, Boris, lives in a funeral parlor at 33 Dark Grave Drive. Crepella lives in a crypt in the cemetery. Her mouse hole is filled with cobwebs and dead flowers. All that is pretty spooky. But here is the scariest part of all. Crippella wants me to be her boyfriend. Hello, Crippella, I said nervously. I need you, Geronimo, Crippella said. My grandfather, Professor Frankenstein, has died. His will is being read tomorrow night. I need to leave for Cackleford Castle right away. It's in the Valley of the Wayne Vampires. I need you to come with me. My little bat wing. Tackle for castle. The way he lead off vain vampires. I hate things that are spooky. But Crippella was not finished yet. It will be wonderful, Geronimo, she said. I'll introduce you to my family. Her family? I had already met her father. And he was creepy enough. I really did not want to meet any more cackle first. I'm sorry, Crippella. I said quickly. I can't go with you. I'm busy. Um, working on my next book. Really? Crippella asked. She sounded suspicious. What is it about? I didn't know what to say. Um... It's secret. Cackle for Castle, the Valley of Van Vampires. I hate things that are spooky. But Crippella was not finished yet. It will be wonderful, Geronimo, she said. I'll introduce you to my family. Her family? I had already met her father, and he was creepy enough. I really did not want to meet any more cackle first. I'm sorry, Crippella. I said quickly. I can't go with you. I'm busy. I'm working on my next book. 
Really? Grippella asked. She sounded suspicious. What is it about? I didn't know what to say. Um, it's a secret. I lied. Grippella didn't buy it. Your book can wait, my little toadstool. I will be at your office with my ears faster than a spider can. Grippella von Kackelfur. Who is she? She is a special effects designer for scary films and haunted houses. Her father is Boris von Kackelfur. Grippella is an enchanting and mysterious mouse with a pet bat named Bitewing. Her secret. She has a crush on Geronimo Stilton. Boris Cack von Cacklefur. Who is he? He runs the famous funerals. A funeral home at 33 Dark Grave Drive. His hobbies include writing romantic poetry and painting graveyard scenes. His secret. He is in love with Tina Spicy Tail, Geronimo's grandfather's cook. Spiders spin a web, so get ready. Then she hung up. I had to do something. My whiskers were quivering with fright. I did not want to see Cripella. I did not want to ride a horse. I did not want to go to Cackles for Cashin. I did not want to meet Cripella's family. I quickly thought up a plan. I put on a pair of dark glasses, a hat and a raincoat. Then I scurried to the back door. I opened it and someone tripped me. I fell right on my snout. I looked up into Cripilla's green eyes. I know you so well, my little pumpkin, she said smiling. I knew you would put on a disguise and try to escape out back. Cripilla picked up me up and shoved me into her ears. Help! I shrieked. I'm being mouse snapped. I was in trouble, big trouble. Kurpala slid into her driver's seat. How do you like my ears? She asked. Of course, it doesn't normally carry living mice, but I'm sure you'll be comfortable. Putrid cheese puffs. Get me out of here, I screamed. Cripilla just smiled. You can't escape, your animal, she said. You might as well get comfortable. How could I be comfortable in her ears with Cripilla? Let me out, I yelled. Cripilla winked at me. You're going to love cackle for castle, my little ghosty ghosty. And she began to sing a little tune. We are going to cackle, cas cackle for a castle. It's creaky and dreary and gray. We are going to cackle castle. And forever and ever we'll stay. I sighed and put on my belt. There was no escape. Only one thought comforted me. If I ever did get home... I would definitely have something to write about. The Valley of the Wind Vampires First Shrieking Peak Second Screaming Peak Third Scary D Cat Mountain
Food. Mangy Mouse Mountain. Fifth. Cackle for Castle. Sixth. Rancid Rat. Rancid Rat. River Seventh Nightmare Woods Eight The Sleazy Snout Stream Ninth, Toadspit Brook. Tenth, Putrid Pond. Eleventh, Gowl's Gully. Twelfth, Dangerous Day Hill. Valley of the Green Vampires We drove all through the night. By the time dawn came, we had reached a gloomy valley. Thick trees with twisted branches grew all around. I looked away from the trees into the valley. The mountain sheep was shaped like a skull, giant skull. A creepy castle with lots of towers sat on top of it. It looked so spooky. I knew it. It had to be Cackle for Castle. A muddy moat surrounded the castle. Repeller stopped the car in front of a drawbridge blocked by a gate. A gate was marked with a carved wooden sign, Cackle for Castle. Repeller leaned out of the car and rang bell on the gate. Mew! I nearly jumped out of my fur. What was that? I want to go home, I squeaked. Pupilla laughed. Calm down, my little cheesecake. It's only the doorbell. Someone inside the castle lowered the drawbridge. As we drove across the moat, I thought I saw two gleaming eyes from the depth of the murky water. But it must have been an, my imagination, right? A creepy castle sat on top of a skull-shaped mountain. Welcome to Cackleful Castle, Cripella shrieked. I parked the car and we walked, she parked the car and we walked up to the front door. I could make out of a plan next to the doorway. Welcome to Cackleful Castle. Welcome to Cackleford Castle, Grippella Shree. She parked the car and we walked up to the front door. I could make out a plant next to the door. A big plant. It had a thorny stem. It had spiky leaves. And when I looked closer, I saw the plant had white, sharp, shiny teeth. Rathmans rattlesnakes, I cried. The plant leaned over and sniffed me. Then it bit off one of my buttons. Geronimo meet Jumper, our watch plant, Grippola said. The Cackleford watch plant. Her scientific name is 
Horrifica dentibula. Her nickname is Chompers. She has very sharp teeth at the end of her flower. A secret. She owns a collection of toothbrushes that she guards ferociously. I quickly turn on my cell phone. I'm just going to call my sister. I said casually. I want to tell her I was ma being mouse snapped. I mean that I'll be away for a while. Ripella's green eyes flashed. She snatched the phone away. No phone calls. She snapped. They are forbidden here. She threw my cell phone to the plant. Here, Chompers, she said. A little snack for you. The plant gulped down the my phone in one mouthful. I began to lose hope. I was going to be trapped in Cacklefur Castle forever. Gripella stepped up to the door. I followed her. I set my paw on the doormat. And it cried out. Ouch! I jumped back. What kind of a place was this? Rapella opened the door. We stepped into an enormous hall with marble floors. Tall windows lit in the morning sunlight. Buildings of the cackle for families and sisters lined the walls. Rapella turned her snout to mine. It's so good to be home, she said with a sigh. How about a kiss, my little zombie wombie? The cackle for ancestors. Abracadabra, one cackle for a medieval magician famous for his love for potions. Schwarz buckler, one cackle for a knight who fought against that mythical monster, the three headed cat. Third, Cruella won cackle for a charming rat. Many Ireland lost his head over Cruella. Really, she had them all beheaded. I took a step back. A cold breeze blew through the windows. The curtains whirled in the air like ghosts. Cruella turned to the window. This room has a lovely view of the graveyard. Isn't it romantic? I want to go home, I wailed. Then I heard a loud cough. I turned around. A great rat stood there. He held a candela pera in his paw. He was tall and thin with a pointy snout and whiskers that were waxed and curled. What a curious looking rodent. I can't believe my ears. This is Bonaham, our butler, Cropella said. How are you today, Bonaham? The thin rat bowed. Very bad. Thank you, Miss Von Cacklefur. Then he looked up and she saw me. Good heavens, we have a guest, he said, shocked. This is Geronimo Stilton, Cropella declared. We are going to be married. I almost fainted. Well, that's not, I stammered. I mean, Cropella and I will... See you later, my little monster pie, Crippola said. She turned to the butler. Take care of him, please. I will do my worst, Miss Crippola, the butler said. Inside the cackle for castle. First. The muddy moat where that thing lives. Second, 
drawbridge. Third front door. Fourth jumpers. Fifth front hall. Sixth drawing room. Seventh, seventh library, eighth hall of mummies, ninth dining hall, tenth safe. Eleven Watch Star Twelve Weapon Room Weapons Room Thirteenth Green uh, uh, Inner Courtyard Fourteen Green Yard Fifteen Castle Grounds Sixteen Crocodile Pool and Fina Finana Tank. Seventeenth Seventeenth Bedrooms Eighteenth Guest Room Guest Bedroom Nineteenth Kitchen and Pantry Bonham led me down a very long, very narrow, and very dark hall hallway. He pointed out rooms in the castle as we walked. Over there is the greenhouse, he explained. That is where we grow the flesh-eating strawberries. My pride and joy. And at the end of this hall, you'll find the library. The gym, the crocodile pool, and the piranha tank. I could not believe my ears. What kind of house has a crocodile pool? And these staircases lead to the castle dungeons, Bonham continued. Bonham, who is he? Bonham has been the Cacklefur family butler for ages. He is very devoted to Kaggle first and calls them the family. He is a snob from the tip of his tail to the tip of the, his curled whiskers. His sock is secret. His socks stink. My stomach rumbled. I had not eaten for hours and hours. Where is the kitchen? I asked. The butler pointed to a door in there. But please make sure you call it Kitchen with a capital K. It feelings get hurt if you don't. Then the butler coughed. Ahem, Mr. Stilton, he began. I have heard you are a, master, a publisher. 
I'm working on a masterpiece. It's entitled The Adventures of the Cacklefur Family. So far, I have written 365 volumes. Would you mind taking a look at it? I gave him a card. Give me a call when you are finished writing.